Hello, my little angels, and happy post-Halloween. That's right, I really couldn't care less about your accusations of celebrating an imperial tradition. Go throw a revolution somewhere else. Because you know what? At the end of the day, I was the one getting the Capitan del Espacio, not you. Good luck being fun at parties, Che Guevara con Day. It's actually quite a good costume idea. File that away for next year. Sorry, I tell it like it is. And you know who, quote unquote, tells it like it is? Brazil's new president-elect, Jair Bolsonaro, a man so far to the right, he's making Thanos look like a pretty decent statesman. Hashtag comment below, I won't read it. Anyway, congratulations, Brazil. You will soon have a new controversial president that so far has been compared to Donald Trump in the US and Rodrigo Duterte in the Philippines. Two upstanding gentlemen from hell. And while Argentina is Brazil's largest trading partner, it looks like Bolsonaro doesn't really care very much because his first trip abroad is gonna be to Chile instead of Argentina. Sorry about it. I wonder if Argentina's pretty upset about that. I think they are, it's diplomacy kind of going wrong. And that's not all. His future economy minister was already in trouble this week because during a press conference, he said that Argentina and the medical school trading bloc weren't really a priority for Brazil. Color me shocked. But of course, the controversy was so big that he layered to backtrack, although he managed to blame journalism in the process because, of course, are we really shocked anymore? I mean, this is just so obvious. It's it's like we it's like knowing the ending of Titanic and watching it anyway and trying to be surprised. In other news, November is here. You know what that means? G20 month! Very soon, Buenos Aires will become hell on earth as we welcome Donald Trump, Vladimir Putin, Angela Merkel, Xi Jinping, Angela, special shout out. It's like the RuPaul all-stars of international politics. So yeah, things are gonna be such a mess that Maggie decided to throw us a bone and declare Friday, November 30th a holiday so we can get the hell out of town and literally not care about what happens in our own backyard. Although, riddle me this, how am I gonna get out of town if I have no money? Thanks, Maggie, I'm poor. In somewhat relatively good news, the UNMAT has authorized pharmacies to sell misoprostol, a drug that can be used to conduct abortions. It will be sold under strict prescription and has to be used under rigorous medical vigilance. Until now, the drug could only be administered in hospitals, but now private gynecologists will be able to prescribe it if they determine that their patients are pregnant as a result of at least one of the scenarios for which Argentine law authorizes abortion. One, if it poses a risk to the woman's health, or two, if the pregnancy is a result of rape. This is actually fantastic news, so all of you anti-feminists can get out of my face and never talk to me again, because women's rights are human rights. Bye. And last but not least, the UBA, aka Universidad de Buenos Aires, moved up in the list of the QS World University rankings once again. The publication considers it to be the 73rd best university in the world and the 8th best in Latin America. This is great news, guys. Good job. Pat yourselves on the back. Back in 2012, the UBA was ranked 230th, so it's moved up 157 spots in just seven years. So there you have it. Next time you're complaining about having to do the CBC, remember that it's all worth the wait. Although then we'll need to tackle that whole illegal photocopying business that just infringes copyright law like it's going out of style. What is this, the wild, wild west? All right, let's move on to events because I'm ready to go home. I've read this like four times. This weekend we get to do gay stuff and Korean stuff, except, who am I kidding? I do gay stuff every weekend. Really, you can check that. I do. First, head over to Flores this Sunday on the corner of Avenida Avellaneda and Nazca and catch a glimpse of BA's one and only Koreatown, a neighborhood I'm pretty sure you didn't even know existed until you're watching this video. The barrio will be celebrating Korean culture in Argentina with food stands, shows, and activities for the whole family. It's from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m., so you'll probably want a little take a break in the middle. But hey, it's worth it for the kimchi and the K-beauty products, snail mucus, literally. But what should we do before Sunday? I've got some options for you, little boo-boo. Buenos Aires is like so gay that one day is not enough to celebrate LGBTQ pride. In the immortal words of Britney Spears, give me more. This is why for the last six days, the city has been celebrating BA Pride Week. With a lot of activities, talks, plays, concerts, human rights workshops, you name it, we got it, dipped in glitter and covered in rainbow feathers. It all started on October 27th and it ends on Saturday, November 3rd. So head over to the city government's website for a description of all the activities happening today and tomorrow before it's over and you go back to your boring hetero existence. Have fun at the Kiki, and if you need someone to join you, call me. I do love a good Kiki. I really do. Okay, I'm done. Ciao. <laughs>